Reassembly procedures. Reassemble the piston. Make sure that all repair kit components and cylinder parts are clean, dry, and free of any dirt or debris. Pay particular attention to the tube bore and slot. First, lubricate and install wear rings onto the piston with the thinner edge and widest part of the flat inward. Line up the wider flat portion with the piston band ramp and narrower flat with the flat on the piston end. Lubricate and install the U-cups with lip seals facing out onto each end of the piston bracket assembly. It should fit snugly in its groove. Before installing the cushion seals, check to make sure there is no debris or dirt in the cushion seal grooves that could cause the seals to malfunction. Lubricate and install the cushion seals, small end facing out, into piston ends. Rotate the seals to seat them in the grooves. If you are using optional shock mount kits on the cylinder, do not install the cushion seals. Using them in conjunction with optional shock absorbers will adversely affect shock performance. Lubricate the cylinder tube. Place a generous amount of grease in one end of the tube. Slide in the piston bracket assembly using your fingers to guide the U-cup into the bore to prevent it from folding back onto itself. Run the piston the length of the tube and remove it from the other end. Lift up the tube and inspect the bore for grease distribution. Repeat this procedure if necessary until the tube bore is uniformly lubricated. Install inner sealing band. The inner sealing band is distinguishable from the outer dust band by its sharply ground metal edges. Exercise caution when inserting and inspecting to avoid injury. Apply a thin coat of grease to the rubber portion of the sealing band. Insert the sealing band into the tube by passing it sideways through the tube slot. With the rubber portion up, center the band in the tube so equal lengths extend out both ends. Install piston bracket assembly. Double check the alignment of the wear rings on the piston so the flats on the rings are lined up with the flats on the piston. This will keep the band from crimping when inserting. Place a small amount of grease into the cushion seals. Fill indentations on both sides of the piston completely with grease. Feed one end of the sealing band down the piston ramp through the bracket while moving the piston bracket assembly into the tube, again using your fingers to guide the U-cup into the bore. Make sure the sealing band does not catch on the lip of the wear ring on the opposite end of the piston. Slide the piston assembly the length of the tube, stopping as the end of the piston exits the tube bore. This will seat the sealing band in its groove. If the tube and piston were greased properly, excess grease should be present on the piston end. Wipe away the excess grease and slide the piston back into the tube. Trim sealing band. With a razor blade, 
Strip rubber from the stainless steel portion on one end of the extended sealing band until flush with the end of the tube. Trim the band to the required length from the end of the tube for your cylinder bore size, using the vernier caliper or ruler as a measuring guide. On all sizes, there is a trim tolerance of plus or minus 0 0.032 of an inch. Incorrect cut lengths on the two and two and one half inch cylinder may result in the band extending out the head slot. This can cause serious injury to the hand when pressing the heads into the tube. Trim the bands accurately to the required lengths. Install cylinder heads. Lubricate and install the O-rings onto the seal groove in the head snout. Lubricate and install cushion needle valve O-rings. Screw the cushion needle valves all the way into the head. Insert the head into the tube using a slight rocking motion until the head is flush with the end of the tube. Do not twist the head or the O-ring could be cut, resulting in excessive air leakage during operation. Make sure the rubber portion of the sealing band stays flush with the tube. Install the four tapped screws into the head. Tighten to the following torque requirements. Repeat these procedures for the second head. Install upper dust band. Before installing the dust band, make sure it is clean and free of any dust or debris. To ensure that the band seats itself into the tube groove, fill the indentations on each side of the rubber strip completely with grease the entire length of the band. Keeping the dust band free of contaminants, place it over the tube slot, rubber side down, centering the band. Run your finger along the top of the band to force it into the tube groove. Wipe away any excess grease. Strip the rubber from one end of the band flush with the end of the tube. Trim the dust band to the required trim length from the end of the tube. The trim lengths of the dust band have the same requirements as the ceiling band trim lengths. 